So why would why do we do so many of these interviews in the car? Because it's still so fresh in our minds. We've just come from another appointment from the doctor and everything's still fresh. If we waited till tomorrow to do it, I would forget everything. It makes sense to try and do it as soon as we can. And it seems to be one of the places we talk a lot. <laughs> it's in the car. Oh, yeah, and if we're at home and the kids are at home, we get interrupted a lot. Yeah, and this way you're my captive audience. Yeah. <laughs> So we are two weeks post-surgery. Yesterday was two weeks. Okay. How have the past two weeks, what's dominated the last two weeks for you? Or actually, do you want to break it into the first week, the second week? How do you, how do you feel across the span of those two weeks? Well, the first week, the first week I had a bit of a balance problem. I would be walking straight and I'd keep feeling off to the left which is bad when you're trying to go to the bathroom. <laughs> or sit on a chair. And sit on a chair or on the toilet. There's been a few times where I almost fell down the stairs, a couple of times, mm -hmm. um, that I almost fell down the stairs because I couldn't quite get my balance. But you just have to hang on to whatever you can, a wall, <laughs> <laughs> the railing of the stairs. Sometimes you have to hang on to someone to make sure you get into where you need to go. Yeah, we took a lot of walks that first week where you'd kind of hang on my arm and we would just do a real slow walk. Yeah. Why, why were we walking so slow? Well, part of it was the balance part and uh, part of it too was because I felt like I had the world's most massive hangover and I thought if I walked too fast, it was going to make the hangover worse. Yeah, so you basically your head hurt. A lot. Yeah, it did. It's only been in the last four days that I haven't had a semi-permanent headache so that's good but it really did feel like a long hangover <laughs> based on what the doctor just showed us um and, you know we just had the follow-up appointment based on what he just showed us the video of the procedure not yours particularly but exactly what happened in the procedure are you surprised now that you had a headache or no it, no yeah. i mean after watching that it made sense now but I'm also very glad that he didn't show that video to me before I had the surgery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely realize that you're, they're going in there with metal tools. And, and to him, it's all very normal. He does that all the time. It's very routine. It's not a um, dangerous surgery. And um, he had no problem. But to us, that's kind of the scary part. I'm going into the, into the hospital for surgery, you know? Yeah. I'm going to be knocked out. They're, they're going to put a hole in my head. They're going to implant something and, you know, and then I've got to get better. Yeah. And, and another small part of why I was walking so slow the first week, too, was I was not supposed to exercise at all. Yeah. And um, I was considering that, too, but mostly pain and balance dictated how fast I could walk. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you feel now, two weeks after? Two weeks after? Um... I would say yesterday and today have been pretty good so far. <clears throat> I still can't wear glasses because the incision is right, be right behind my ear and it uh, hurts too much. I will say that I did put on sunglasses uh, yesterday for about a minute maybe. Um, see, we're in the land of Abu Dhabi where it's uh, sunshine all the time. So you need sunglasses here. I couldn't stand the pain of having the sunglasses. Pushing. Yeah, the pressure behind my ear. So I took them off. I still can't sleep on my right side, which is annoying me. Same thing, because of the pressure on it, right? Yeah, and the pain. There's still some tenderness back here. Um, it's not as bad as it was the first week. I'm no longer taking pe pain meds. I haven't for a few days, mm -hmm. so that's good. I did, the, I did make a mistake on Sunday and I overdid it, which pretty much knocked me out the rest of the day, all day Monday too. Right, what else from today? Oh, uh, he took a look at my incision. Mm -hmm. The doctor took a look at my incision. 
and uh, he the glue was still in place, so he went ahead and dripped it off. Yeah. That hurt a little bit, but really not that bad. Yeah. When you he he, he claimed it was just like a wax job. Yeah, it was just like he was doing a wax. Yeah. Yeah. But, he had a nice touch. I mean, he he's very gentle. And he got the alcohol swab first, kind of loosened it up, and then he went back and pulled it off with the forceps. Just kind of undid it. Which I was surprised then he said, you know, there's a little blue line there. And he says, that's the stitches. So apparently there's stitches below. I was surprised by that too. Yeah, I guess they just stay in place. And then over the top was the glue. So anyway, he said after he took the, uh, the glue off, I'm good to go. I can swim, I can run, I can do whatever. But I can't wear sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he did say that you can wear your hearing aid again. Yeah, but not to put too much pressure uh, behind the incision. And that's what he looked to see if there was room and room enough for your hearing aid behind your ear without pressing on your incision. And he said it would be fine. Okay. That there was plenty of room between where your hearing aid would go and, and your ear. But he also said that I would pop, I may hear a little bit less than I was able to before. Yes. Which compared to the fact that previous to getting the surgery, the assumption was that you would lose all the hearing in that ear because of the implant. That's great. You yeah. Know, that you still have some hearing, just may not be as much. A little bit better than nothing. Yeah. So you're going to get your first fitting on the 31st. Yes. What are you thinking about that? A little bit excited. But I also know that that's the first step of very many steps. They'll do the fitting. I get to hear you sound like a frog. <laughs> yeah, I'm your frog prince. <laughs> and then I need to go around and train my brain to recognize certain sounds. But Dr. Gerard also said not to overdo it, not to uh, rush it so much. So Dr. Gerard was talking about that some doctors like to be very aggressive and do a lot of fittings right away and, and push 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 pretty quick and other doctors he likes to say he said he likes to do a little more smoothly but he does want to move the fitting along a little bit faster you know how are you feeling about the, the start of the, the process of learning you know to hear well the, the process of learning how to use it I think I will probably get a little um, overwhelmed at times. Um, like we said, we have four kids. We've got things going on left and right. I just have to try and maintain a balance and a good balance of everything and um, not try not to get frustrated.